Hi there, and welcome to Apple World. Diddy's secret universe of secret wound parties is at last coming to light. Insiders are spilling subtleties about strange oddity offs, mind games, and crisp control strategies, and get this bits of gossip say he's been making things happen in the background for quite a long time controlling. Hollywood's tip top with extortion and terrorizing you will have a hard time believing the stunning stories that are arising. The issue is it appears like he needs to similar to apply power and strength over India. Vigils who don't actually need it, so Diddy's capture in New York stood out as truly newsworthy wherever, on a superficial level, this is simply another high-profile big-name run-in with the law right off base. This story goes far past anything we've seen previously, the charges against him are not. Simply about a solitary occurrence, they paint an image of a man who, for quite a long time, has been carrying on with a daily existence in secret that presently threatens to end his vocation and his life. E as a liberated person. Diddy isn't simply blamed for carrying on with a twofold life. He's blamed for making a realm based on unbelievable revulsions and the subtleties arising now. They're sufficient to turn even the most solidified superstar tattle supporter pale. Diddy has been under criminal examination for a really long time by government examiners here in New York, and assuming that there are criminal accusations, large numbers of them might seem to be something some of these people have been portraying. Imagine setting a Uria Chateau in Beverly Slopes or a penthouse suite in Manhattan, loaded up with Alistair and forthcoming stars anxious to hobnob with Diddy. These weren't your average Hollywood gatherings with overjoyed guests. These weren't your average Hollywood gatherings with charming visitors tasting costly champagne. These gatherings known in murmured circles as oddity offs were something else. They were peculiar limits and totally not at all like the cleaned picture Jiddy showed the public repeatedly with incredibly troublesome and prurient claims, including charges that had cameras all through his as per insiders. These gatherings were secret social affairs, where anything could occur, and frequently did the subtleties being shared. Now by the people who were there uncovering a sickening scene, visitors were welcomed under the misrepresentation of a wild evening of fun just to get themselves caught in a horrible ditty purportedly utilized his power and impact to draw individuals into these turned occasions. Once there, it was difficult to leave without confronting serious outcomes. Participants depict a climate where the thing more surprising than the exercises occurring was the way Diddy supposedly controlled everything with an iron clench hand. The bits of hearsay are that Diddy was running some sort of Epstein-type bargain where he was shooting everyone, right? That is the report. No doubt, I don't have a clue about that. There's any verification of something besides that. The individuals who were there guaranteed that Diddy was consistently at the focal point of the activity calling the shots. He wasn't simply the have, he wasn't simply the host, he was the chief. Observers depict how he arranged the whole evening, arranging the absolute most upsetting scenes as though they were exhibitions. In the loading part, he frequently recorded these occasions, not so much for no particular reason, but rather to hold over the tops of the individuals who took part. It's being said that this was the means by which he kept up with control over individuals for such a long time. He had soil on everybody, and nobody needed to be the one to stand up that he controlled each part of her life. He's blamed for much of the time beating her, and what's more, would conceal her in lodgings for days until the swelling and indications of misuse were gone. One previous participant who has stayed unknown shared that the first time they understood something was wrong was the point at which they saw the covered-up cameras. They were wherever, catching each second without anybody's assent. This wasn't simply an intrusion of protection, it was a strategy of control. Diddy purportedly utilized these accounts to coerce visitors, guaranteeing their quiet for a really long time. The casualties were not simply irregular party gears. They were famous people, artists, models, and competitors individuals you'd never hope to regard themselves as in such a weak position. All under Diddy's spell, clients portray NBC as damnation in the most awful circumstances they've been in. Take the situation of Cassie Venture's previous significant other for model. Kathy, who had been in a long-haul relationship with Diddy, uncovered in her claim that she had been a piece of these horrendous gatherings. In reality, it was Cassie's boldness in talking out that broke the entire story wide open. She illustrated the control and control Diddy practiced over her, as well as finished every individual who went to these get-togethers. It was not only to as per her Diddy fierce, yet he ensured that everybody involved was either excessively frightened or as well embarrassed to talk. The power dynamic was clear. Diddy was at the top, and everybody else was superfluous. 
Cassie depicted how Diddy would frequently test the devotion of everyone around him. He would utilize dread, terrorizing, and once in a while by and large dangers to keep individuals in line. And if anybody actually thought about misbehaving, the results were serious. There are even stories circling that Diddy would obliterate individuals' lives on the off chance that they attempted to oppose him. One especially chilling occurrence that Cassie referenced was when Diddy supposedly obliterated a vehicle having a place with rapper Kid Sweetie just to communicate something specific. The message nobody crosses Diddy and pulls off it well one way or the other on the off chance that you got to rush to a confidential island because your misdeeds are accomplishing such a great deal and they're raging your house. It's one of these. Yet it wasn't just Cassie who encountered this over the previous year. An ever-increasing number of ladies have approached with their own accounts. The subtleties are shockingly comparative. The control, the savagery, the feeling of dread towards standing up was all important for a design that Diddy had painstakingly created over many years. It's no big surprise that some of these ladies remained quiet for such a long time. Diddy wasn't simply a music big shot. He was a man who appeared to be an unapproachable somebody with an association so profound that even the idea of bringing him down appeared to be inconceivable. These are claims that have turned out to be amazingly recognizable against Diddy lately. He has confronted many claims from ladies and men who have blamed him for every kind of terrible conduct. One of the most disturbing disclosures came from a lady who portrayed how Diddy would hold freak-offs that went on for quite a long time. These occasions loaded up with high-profile vips, weren't simply wild gatherings, they were risky. Diddy allegedly kept visitors under his influence, guaranteeing that they were excessively perplexed and depleted to think plainly casualties were much of the time left damaged by what they had seen and experienced without any thought of how to get away from the circumstance they found themselves. In all that you're taking a gander at, they're all integrated in each part. As insane as it appears, as absurd as it appears, everything ties in all of its additionally worth focusing on that these sochet. Ella affairs weren't generally kept inside the walls of Diddy's manners. A portion of these occasions occurred in lodgings all over the planet, from Tokyo to Miami. There's one specific story from a previous artist, Rachel Kennedy, who reviewed a night in Tokyo that started as a great evening out on the town and finished in complete calamity. She and her companions were welcome to their thought process was a party, however, when they showed up, they understood there was no other person there, just Diddy. The Kennedy story reflects that of so many others which began as an honest greeting transformed into something much more obscure before the night's over Kennedy. What's more, her companions were frantic to leave, be that as it may, regarded themselves as caught in a circumstance they had zero command over who said that another person who was at that point popular and this person was coming up he said that the person let him know he goes hell listen leave. And we should not disregard individuals who worked for Diddy. A few of his previous representatives have now approached, guaranteeing that they had to partake in these occasions or if nothing else. Hold on and watch as they unfurled one previous maker. Rodney Jones shared his own alarming experience. He portrayed how Diddy attempted to prep him into a way of life he didn't need to be important for Jones guaranteed that Diddy constrained him to go to these gatherings. What's more, even recruit individuals to partake in the occasions. It wasn't simply the visitors who were being controlled. It was everybody in Diddy's circle that obviously there is a criminal examination in progress and that they accept that there would be proof of wrongdoings in either of these homes. Yet what's maybe most stunning is the manner by which long. Diddy had the option to pull off it all. How should somebody in such a public position, somebody continually at the center of attention, stow away something so dull for such a long time? Reality is Diddy's life was an expert class in keeping up with appearances on a superficial level. He was a definitive performer, a man who had it all. He was the lord of parties, the person everybody needed to be around. His occasions were incredible, and his progress in the music business made him distant. Yet in secret, something a lot more obscure was occurring even presently. After this large number of claims have become known, Diddy stays resistant in his public assertions. He denies all that. He guarantees that these allegations are just witch chase individuals searching for a payday in December 2023. Diddy posted a, as a matter of fact, message on his Instagram saying enough is enough. For the most recent few weeks, I have sat quietly and watched individuals attempt to kill my personality, annihilate my notoriety, and my inheritance. He demanded that he would battle to demonstrate his innocence what's more. That reality would turn out in the end yet for the individuals who were there who survived the bad dream of his secret life, his words ring empty with this most up-to-date claim. 
This would presumably just assist or increment how much charges and potential. Subscribe Apple World for more videos.